No, I'm not late. I just took my time. I wanted to try before I buy. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back. Today, I finally got my nose on it. Finally added it to my collection. Yes, for me, it was a must have. Girl, what are you talking about? 2.5, I'm gonna tell you. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, so if you like any of those things, or perhaps you're like me, and you too can appreciate all things fancy and fabulous, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, but don't stop there. Go ahead and smash the notification bell. That way, every single time a video is placed on this channel, you will get an alert. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, I have a little bit of a backstory. When this fragrance first launched and it first came out, I believe we weren't leaving the house. Stores may have been closed, open, I can't even keep up anymore, but we weren't leaving the house. So I was up, kid you not, 2.5 story time, two, three o'clock in the morning, and I was like, I have gotta get a sample. I happened to go on or stumble across Lucky Scent. A lot of you were telling me, check out Lucky Scent to get a sample. So I went on, here's a little card from Lucky Scent saying, thank you. I ordered a sample from them. This is a little sample that it looks like here. It's just this little, little tiny sample, just enough to get a whiff. I thought it was gonna be a spray, but it was not a spray. It just looked like this. It was here, you know, it's one of those that you just rub on yourself like that. So it did give me what I needed. All I needed to do was to get a whiff to see if I really wanted to add it to my collection. I tell you guys all the time, I am a huge, fan of try before you buy. I do not want anything in my collection that I partially like or that I blind bought and I really don't love. I only want fragrances in my collection that I love. So how I do that is I always try to try before I buy, if I can. So this is how I got a hold of this. So then a few days later, maybe the next day, I ended up going out to the mall walked over to Bloomingdale's and there was a sales associate in there. Shout out to you, Nancy. Phenomenal customer service. Absolutely amazing. She made my whole entire shopping trip just like phenomenal. You know, and Bloomingdale's always has customer service, amazing customer service anyway, but she just went above and beyond to take care of me and I truly appreciate you. So I walk in Bloomingdale's, it was sitting there, the fragrance that I'm talking about that's at hand. I know I still haven't said it, but I believe you already know what it is, so let's keep talking. So I go in, it's sitting on the table, right? I go to pick it up and I said, may I pick it up? She goes, yes, because they were cleaning everything after. So I picked it up, I took one spray, you guys. I literally picked it up, I said, Ch -ch -ch. Yep, I want it. A couple of days after was it was gonna go on sale. It was gonna be on sale for like 15% off during the Bloomingdale sale. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I was like, well, can I, you know, she goes, give me your information, we'll take care of you. Did just that and she did just that. And here we are, ta-da! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I am so, so excited. You guys, I really did not want to like this fragrance because I said to myself, I already have Delina exclusive. I already have Delina original, of the original. Do I really need Delina La Rose? Do I really need that? <sighs> don't say what you don't need until you try it, okay? So here's the box that came with this beautiful box. I love a box, you already know I'm a huge girl about packaging. This is why I like my fragrances from the department store because I like it to be done right. I'm all about presentation. I'm all about the thrills and frills. I don't just like perfume being thrown in a box and shipped to me. That's just not my style. Anyhow, so this is it here. This is how it came. She put so many amazing, beautiful samples inside here. We got some Mugler. We have some, a bunch of stuff, you guys, in there. And then she also gave me something that I'm gonna be getting into. It is Pegasus, the exclusive version. So I'll be back to do a little, you know, um, review on that, but it's a huge 10 vial in here, or is it a 15 vial? I don't know, something she put in here that was really nice. Oh yes, this is a nice size here. Yes, so this is good. This is Pegasus, I believe it's the exclusive, she told me. So I'll be back, I'm gonna give that to my guy. She told me, this would be great for your guy. And I'm like, absolutely. So you guys, I got my nose on it and I had to have it. And I'm gonna answer as many questions for you as I can. But this is it here, oh my God. I am not late, I am not late. I just wasn't buying it until I knew if I loved it. And I do love it and that is why she bought it. Oh my gosh, so okay, we all know about that. In case you don't, because some people may just be new to Delina, this is a beautiful box. I absolutely love the box. I wanted the box. I'm a box girl. Not all boxes do I keep, but some of them I do. And this particular brand, this house, I love Perfumes de Mali. So I do keep their boxes and it is simply gorgeous. This is it here. It looks a lot like the other ones. The difference is though, you guys, I'm sure you can 
tell by now you can see through this it's very transparent it still does have the beautiful cap it still does have the attention to detail up at the top it looks like a little bit of like a rhinestone the color of it is pink it is matching the entire bottle here we have the tassels here the attention to detail I love this here the structure going down the side it's just a beautiful bottle all the way around now when I first picked this up I'll tell you exactly what happened upon me picking it up spraying it and saying yes I want it I said to myself, is it that different from the Delina that you need to have all three? Now here's where I'm gonna go. Delina exclusive, this is my opinion. It has the oud, it's very sexy, it's very date night-esque to me. It's very winter, fall, cold weather um, season, but you already know what I say over here. You spray what you want, when you want, and you spray as much of it as you want. But that's where I've compartmentalized it and placed it for my liking. Now, Delina the original can be worn to me year round. It is absolutely stunning it is beautiful the sour tart note that a lot speak about I love that that's what did it for me the rhubarb the lychee the effervescent um, it just made me feel very um, fizzy like a bottle of champagne or a glass of champagne with a strawberry that's how I oftentimes refer to it as it's beautiful to me it's long-lasting it projects it is a beast in sillage a beast in projection if it gets on your clothes it's never letting it go I have the can I have the body cream and I have the hair mist and I can vouch that this fragrance just all the way around performs and it is beautiful. I am very excited to have this new one in my collection. The difference between those two and this one to me, this is very spring to me. Very spring, it's airier, it's lighter. It just made me think about water. Even upon me spraying it, I was like, there's something juicy about this. If I can be completely honest with you, this is just for reference. I don't believe this fragrance has any peach in it at all. But I can just say, when I sprayed it, it took me to a time and place where it was a very spring day, not too hot, not too cold, about just right. We were, the sun was settling. It was probably, or setting. It was probably dusk. I don't know whatever time dusk is. 5, 30, 6 o'clock, 7, I don't know. I can't be bothered to know. Um, but that's what it was. And you had the most ripest peach in your hand. And it was picked to perfection. And right as the sun was going down, you bite into it and the juiciness that would drip out of the peach, that is exactly what this fragrance gave me. It is so beautiful. It is so watery. It is so fresh. It is so clean. It is so crisp. It is so beautiful that it's perfect for spring. If you were gonna say, I need a spring fragrance, and you were a fan of Delina, this is a way to go. If you want something different in your collection, something rose, something fruity, something sweet, something upbeat, happy vibes, this is a way to go. The bottle alone, looking at it, just makes me happy. The bottle alone just makes me happy. I cannot wait to put it with the rest of the other ones. On the back here, it does say, I don't know if you're able to see that there, if my camera will focus and pick it up, but here on the back here, it just says Perfumes de Mali, um, and it says Paris. And you know, I love anything that says Paris. I'm like, oh my God. So you guys, I absolutely love it. Love it is an understatement. Yes, I had to have it. Yes, I have a need for all three. I told you this one here is the epitome of spring, summer, light, airy, effervescent. Yes, this is an easy reach. This is brunch. This is girls date, girls trip. If you were going to go on a trip with the girls and you wanted to wear something classy, you wanted to smell good, you wanted to smell fancy, fabulous, rich, intoxicating, you are reaching for this. This is the way to go. It is amazing. Delina La Rose. I believe I'm saying that right. If I'm not, you can correct me. I'm fine with that. Anyways, you guys, let me give you a few of the notes. Lychee, pear, bergamot, Turkish rose, peony, or peony, okay? White musk, woody notes, Haitian vitter. I put down on here for the longevity for this one. It still gave great longevity. It still gave me about six to eight hours. I kid you not. Yes, let's just be honest. I am an oversprayer. I did overspray it. I did layer it with the body cream that I have, but even when I wore it, when I didn't layer it with the body cream, it still gave me about the same, it gave me about the same longevity. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I can't stress that enough. I definitely find 
find this a daytime fragrance, spring, summer, daytime. That's just the vibes that I get from it. That's where I'm compartmentalizing it and placing it in my collection in my life. This is sexy. It will be sexy for a first date, second date, a flirty date, a playful date. We're not doing too much. I don't know if we're still picking apples or not, but it would be perfect for picking apples or peaches or plums or something. It will be perfect for like wine tasting. It will be perfect if you were going to go out for the day and you were going to go to church and then go shopping and then go to brunch after and you just wanted to put on one fragrance. This is the one that you would reach for. If things had opened back up and you were going to be going to a play, a symphony, and you were going to be sitting in close quarters or proximities with someone and you wanted to smell amazing, but not too overpowering, not offensive, not too cloying, not too sweet. This is something that you would reach for. It just makes me happy. The word that I wrote down here is juicy. I wrote two words on my card here when, it, when I first brought it home and started playing with it. And the two words are watery and juicy. And that's what it made me get. This bottle to me best describes it. The transparent, See between the bottle, the clear bottle, the frosted is what it is. So think of something like this, of this being really cold. Oh my God, you gotta imagine this with me. Use your imagination, come with me. Imagine this bottle being really, really cold on a hot summer day and someone just sat it out like this. Can you see this? And then they, it just started to just like drip off like water dripping from it. That's how it smells. It's very clean. It's very crisp. It's very juicy. <laughs> It's very sophisticated, it is, it is very classy, but it's a fruity, fresh, floral, sweet, elegant fragrance. That's how I would have to describe it. Do I need all three, Sheree? If Delina exclusive is good for you and you like the oud in that note and you, you know, have it as a sexy date night and you see it as Delina's older or mature sister, yes, this would be different from that. If you like the original Delina that came out and you particularly happen to love, like myself, that sour tart note, and it could be very, you know, strong and powerful and everything like that, and some find it might be even a little bit too much, this would be a way to go. So you know how we have, um, I'm trying to make an example here. You know how we have uh, Coco Mademoiselle, right? We have Coco Mademoiselle Intense, if you know that one. It's a little deeper, a little sexier, a little bit more sensual, right? Then you have Coco Mademoiselle, the regular one, which would be the original, like Delina, the original. That's there. Um, it's, it's, you can smell it a mile away. You know it when somebody's wearing it, everything like that. Then they came out with, how did you work Chanel into this video? I'm just asking. Hello, I'm making a point here. Anyways, you have Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle, Le Preve, the bedtime fragrance, right? That's what this would be equivalent to me. If you look at both their bottles, they're both kind of transparent. They both have like the frosted bottles. Um, and so to me, it's just given a vibe of I'm a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher, a little bit airier, a little bit easier to wear. You know what I mean? And it's not doing the most, it's not doing as much as Delina original, and it's not nearly doing as much as Delina exclusive. Same way with Coco Mademoiselle. I was just using that for reference in case you've smelt those and you haven't smelt this. Back to the video that we're talking about. Anyways, so that's what I get from this bottle. I had a need to have all three because I just really, really love Parfums de Mali and I love their fragrances. And I just felt like I had to have this in my collection and I'm definitely gonna rock this all spring and summer. I will still rock Delina as well. I already told you Delina exclusive is more of a date night kind of vibe for me. So I'll probably wear that more in the evening. The other two, this and the original, I'm gonna wear probably more in the daytime, but I do feel that Delina, the original can be worn year round, anywhere, anytime, any place. But this is definitely a spring, hot summer day. This is spring, summer in a bottle. What does it remind you of or what would it smell like in your opinion? If I had to say it smelled uh, reminisce, not really along the lines of smell, but let me give you a vibe that it might uh, think of DNG La Patrice, and I'm saying that wrong. La Pat oh, God, girl, why are you even trying? DNG 3, or is it 13? One of the two, I'll put a picture up so that you know which one I'm talking about. I've spoke about it before. It has that fruity vibe to it, that sweet, fruity vibe, but then sexy at the same time. Yes, guys, dare I say it, this is a tad bit sexy. Not in the Tom Ford, oud, heavy, sexy kind of way, and not in the Delina exclusive kind of way, but it is a very flirty, cutesy kind of vibe of a flirtiness, um, sexiness to it. So I do deem it and have it to be a sexy fragrance as well. 
it was a must for me. I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, look to see it again in a top five, a most worn, a countdown, a top 10. It's definitely gonna be on the spring list. I want to wear it out. Um, I'll wear it in the day, I'll wear it in the evening, and I will be back if I come up with anything new that I may have found that you know was different from my initial review, which is this first impression slash review. The only place I've really worn it to was from the Bloomingdale's to my house, um, and then in the house. So that's what I can give you for this. But I am super excited that I started with the sample and I absolutely love it. And if I had to repurchase it again, I ex if I had to purchase this again, I would. When this bottle runs out, I will repurchase it again. I just like it that much. So hopefully this was helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Let's start some dialogue. Do you have Delina exclusive? Do you have Delina the original? Have you picked up La Rosé yet? What are your thoughts on it? What do you think about it. Let's start some dialogue. I love interacting and chatting with you all in the comments section. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. I'm extremely excited. I'm always excited. I'm just an upbeat, happy, exciting, per excited person. So that is why I'm always smiling and I am happy to see you guys. But that is it for this review. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them down below. Do not forget to come over and connect with me over on Instagram. It's always nice chatting with you guys over there as well. And I get back to the questions a lot faster over there. So just saying, come over and say hi. And that is it. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by and watch today's video. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and stay safe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.